Welcome to our SEC Tournament Forecast. I'm Andy Katz. I'm going to predict how the SEC will finish from 14 to 1 and tell you which teams will make the NCAA Tournament. Let's start with the teams that are out of the mix. Vanderbilt at number 14. New head coach Jerry Stackhouse. I don't know if he's finished last in anything in his career, and he may not here. Got a new coach at Texas A&M and Buzz Williams. Missouri, Conzo Martin. Hopefully this team is healthy. Ole Miss could be that school that I'm wrong on in this list. Kermit Davis Jr. had the Rebels turned around. They were in the NCAA tournament last season with Brian Tyree. They may make it again. So I could be wrong on Ole Miss. The bubble is where you're going to find a lot of teams. And let's start with Georgia. Anthony Edwards could be one of the best players in the country, not just for Tom Crean, but he could be a top five NBA draft pick. You got new head coaches at Arkansas and Alabama with Eric Musselman and Nate Oates. They've both been winners where they've been in the past. You got one of the best rebounders in the country in Reggie Perry at Mississippi State. And Frank Martin is destined to get back into the NCAA tournament with A.J. Lawson leading the Gamecocks. Off of that list, you've got teams that I think for sure are going to be in the NCAA tournament. Tennessee, Auburn, and LSU. Auburn was in the Final Four last season within a whisker of getting to the national championship game. They're going to be much more front court oriented rather than the back court and shooting threes this season, but they've certainly got the personnel to make another run. Tennessee having to reshuffle a lot of that lineup, yet Rick Barnes has never had a squad that has not been in contention for an NCAA tournament berth. And LSU reloaded. They got a great freshman class. Look for the Tigers to be in the dance. If there are two schools in the SEC that are going to make a deep run, possibly to Atlanta in the Final Four, it's the top two, Kentucky and Florida. Florida is loaded, and they added Kerry Blackshear Jr., a transfer from Virginia Tech, who may be a first-team All-American, and he's my pick to be the SEC Player of the Year. As for Kentucky, they bring back Emmanuel Quickly, E.J. Montgomery, Nick Richards, and at the point, Ashton Hagens. Add in yet another elite recruiting class led by Tyrese Maxey, and the Wildcats have the personnel to make another deep run, possibly to the Final Four.